Right, so um, I've been craft group. I had a whale of a time. We started our junk books up. Hopefully I'll show you, show you or share that at some point. I do make sure that the room is fairly um, tight. Well, the bedroom, as I said, I like it tidied and I did tidy it after the last session. Yeah, I've got my stand here. Um, try and keep this as clear as possible. I probably will actually move maybe that basket, which I use for, um, you know, washing the thing and clear this just a bit um, so I can, you know, sort of lay clothes out on here. I have got um, the steps here and I've got my um, basket there to put anything that we're getting rid of. So, yeah, so I'm going to make a start and get on here because I've had my lunch and I need to get started. Um, if I sit too long, I won't get this done. And so I'm hoping the lighting's going to be okay. I'm going to bring another lamp in, I think. And this is a corner wardrobe. At least this one, the door does actually come right, put it right back. And this is the corner wardrobe. So that is a bit of a close up so I've got onesies, Christmas um, pyjamas, thick and the thinner ones. I've got um, thicker um, um, pyjamas there and what I call my lounge jumpers. Um, I've got pyjama sets there. Then they're all tops, bottoms and there is a top there because it didn't fit in. And then right at the bottom there I have got shorts and t-shirt sets and that's I've mentioned this before, I got this for about $1.95 from Amazon. It just stores all the coat hangers. Um, both me and hubby have basically got near enough the same coat hangers. Um, but once they're gone, once everything's on these, then I know for a fact no more clothes can go in. But I am trying to keep a fair, fair amount of um, coat hangers here. Um, as I said, I'm pretty much up to date with my washing. I've just got a couple of items left on my area. And then going down here, I have pulled a couple of my dressing gowns and everything out. And I've said this before, the same as Hobby's wardrobe are just there. As long as it's not work clothes and say it's casual clothes. Like I wore this set um, a couple of days ago. Um, well no it was yesterday wasn't it I wore it yesterday so that it's really got to go in the wash but it's got my um bl my blue jeggings on there so I'll probably wash the top but I may wear the jeggings and one more time then wash them if that makes sense so I have a variety of clothes because not always do you I don't know about you um wash the clothes straight away unless there's something wrong with it sometimes like i've said i will wear one outfit if i'm at home but i will probably um change out jogging bottoms and put jeggings or jeans or something on um to go out in um i suppose that hopefully that does make sense what i'm saying and then i've got little bags there then i go into um all the um jeans and trousers um, I've got a couple of skirts back there and a couple more dressing gowns. Then you can't see it very well. You will once I get everything out. At the bottom now I have a, um, a tub for bags. And then there's a little basket for purses and wallets. So that is it. I say it's a bit crammed. I'm going to see if there's any way of actually getting rid of a few pieces. And up here... As you may be aware from one of my hauls, I've got three new pairs of pyjamas coming in. So I've got to be able to um, get rid of a few pieces. So here we go.
please don't judge me but yes I've got a lot of lounge sets what I call lounge sets pajamas they are different categories I've got like onesies tops bottoms um, Christmas fairly thick ones and what I call leisure jumpers um, sets shorts t-shirt pajamas and at the moment I got, I will point out, I got my um, Minnie Mouse dressing gown there and good old Winnie the Pooh jumper that I tend to wear first thing in the mornings. So, yes, so that's what it is. Um, yes, I got a lot. This stems from a fair few years ago that I did have a frozen shoulder and for three months I lived near enough in pyjamas unless I was actually going out, which wasn't very often because I was in so much pain and everything. But, um, I know that's not an, um, an excuse, but I do like my lounge sets. I do spend a lot of time at home. So sometimes I don't want to wear jeans or jeggings. I want to wear jogging bottoms or something that's really comfy, especially if you're not expecting any visitors. And I am pretty lucky that I don't normally have anybody I'm kind of unexpected. They usually ring before they pop in, so I'm not usually caught in my PJs, except when I had um, a few months off of work at the time. So I'm going to try and be strict about this. As I said, I know I've got three lots of pajamas coming in, um, but like there'd be more um, possibly for this end of this year, like winter time. Um, going into obviously Christmas so I'll see what I can get rid of but also um, I know I'm probably making excuses I do have um, a couple of sets that I leave in the caravan um, I said that I do wear um, I like to wear clean pajamas every night um, dare I say if I do have a PJ day I've probably changed my pajamas two or three times so You've worn one set, then I'll probably put a lounge set on to, for the day. Then obviously wear clean pyjamas um, to go to bed, um, if that makes sense. I'm sure you lot that are comfortable and maybe a bit of a homebodies like to be comfy as I do. Especially if you have your aches and pains, you don't want anything too restricting. And I usually find that over the Christmas break. So I'm going to get on with sorting this and see what I can get rid of. As I said, I do it this way, clean the part that I've done, which I've done now, and then I can go through everything and um, sort of, I'm not going to spend a lot of time saying, oh, this gives me joy. I just take into account, have I worn it um, within the last six months or something. Some of them are actually, as I say, seasonal um, PJs and loungewear. So it obviously does actually depend on that but let's get on
Right, now I've completed it. Actually, I've surprised myself. I got rid of quite a few tops. What I've done is, I'm just going to move this to prove a point. The only thing, because I've had the same system for years now, and it's worked for me. The only thing I've changed over is I used to have my tops and bottoms like this. All I've done is just pop my sets up there because it's I can just about if I go on tiptoes I can reach the top and I can reach there on tiptoes. Um, so it's not too bad. But if I want to go really back there, it's best to get um, some help or get the steps. Um, so what I've done is I've put my sets there. I've got like my um, skull ones, very often I just wear those winter time, October, November time, Halloween, you know what I mean. I've got a Harry Potter set and then I've got a new summer set that I actually purchased after the summer. So that is nice, um, ready for this year and that is a fairly, well that was a new set that I started wearing um, last year so that's it so what I've done is I brought the tops down now the tops near enough went to the top at some point so I was trying to get them all onto one shelf I've got a few down here because I've got rid of some shorts and top ones I managed to put two tops down here and that one is like my chick one um, spring and that and then I've got that coca-cola one that I've put in there but I try to get them on one shelf, but it's easier because that's where I go for the tops and then I've got my bottoms. Now, I may move this, because I've always had it in here. I may move this, I'm going to take it out for a minute and put it in this wardrobe. Um, because this is where I can, and I've got my feet flat on the ground, this is what I mean. Um... So I can comfortably for, um, reach for my tops and my bottoms. Yes, I can just about reach, as say, up here. Look. But if I didn't have this, you pull the bottom one out and everything comes out. I had that a number of times. And it, I just had a brainwave. And these were only, at the time, 3 99 from B&M. And I bought, how many did I buy? Two three four at the time i think four because hubby's got one at the bottom for his shoes because his jumpers don't work because they're too thick so you you hardly got anything on there i've got to work that one out and then i've got one at the top here and one at the bottom so yeah onesies um i was thinking about getting rid of at least ones one onesie that was when they became really popular the first released I started having them for Christmas and birthday and everybody bought me a onesie. Hubby's got a lot. He actually wears his onesies more than I do. Um, I personally like to wear my Winnie the Pooh jumper quite a lot, especially in the mornings. Hubby obviously gets straight dressed when he gets up because he has to go to work. Unless it's, unless it's a run weekend and he's not working, then he'll wear some probably lounge bottoms or something or if he's going out jeans but yeah and they're like his once he's on the back of the door there so i'm quite happy with that and actually i've got a fair few items in my basket um there is a question mark on a couple of tops i must admit um but like i said when we go to the caravan i have more pjs and everything than anybody else because um hubby and my son they all sleep in um, shorts and t-shirts. They get too warm. And if they've had a shower early in the evening or whatever, and we're gonna have a watch TV in the caravan, um, they will then put like a jogging bottoms or um, a fleece, or if it's warm weather, they'll probably just wear just a, um, a t-shirt, if that makes sense. Now me, it depends on so the time of year we're caravanning and also what the weather's like so very often i have about um three pairs at a time i leave in my caravan which is a couple of shorts and t-shirt type pajamas one long pair and then very often i will take another pair backwards and forwards you know it's just that if we're away for any length of time unlike the guys i like fresh pajamas on every time i've had a shower they're not so bothered um that's just me. I don't know if any of this 
waffling makes any sense but it it personally it does to me and i think that's the main thing i don't know if anybody else is the same you know not always do i have clean pajamas on but most times I do because i do have a bath every night and when we're in the caravan i have a shower so yeah so that's the top one done and i'll leave the coat hangers for the time being because that's one thing i might just tweak because i can comfortably get at these realistically the shorts and t-shirts really, because it's the wrong time of year, ought to go high up. So really and truly, I could, now I'm thinking about it, talking about it, maybe I should do that, is bring my sets down here and put my shorts and t-shirts up that bit because, let's face it, I'm not going to need them until well into the summer. I may actually do that. Yeah, here she goes. I'm rethinking. Just bear with me. I'm just going to swap that bit around. Sorry about that, yeah, so I've had the same system for ages, but um, yeah, like I said, I keep going on my heart, I'm only five foot. This is why these are so low. Realistically, we've got the holes here. That's where the shelf should have been on all wardrobes. But when we got married, um, one thing I wanted was Beautiful wardrobes, do you know what I mean? I say these were from MFI 1988, and I say I can't actually, but you've seen them, you can see here. Um, they're still in amazing condition, and it's surprising how much you get in them. Hubby did actually, I say, measure it all out and got it all fitted himself and built them. As I said, made for idiots, MFI. Um, but yeah. And I think, as I said, this is low. They're supposed to be up here, but all of the shelves are really low because of the coat hangers. And yes, I still pretty much um, do the laundry and put it all away for me and hobby. Sometimes my son, uh, it depends. If it's his day off the next day or something, and if I'm a bit pushed for time, I may just put them on his bed or if they're, um, I've laundered his work clothes and I think sometimes I also put those um, somewhere we can see and that's only so he knows what's been washed and what goes back in the wardrobes if you know what I mean but um, I may show you a more close-up of my son's um, wardrobes and everything I think I briefly showed you um, last year but yeah that works brilliant and so this is what I go for the most those sections there these I only wear, as I said, over pyjamas or whatever, and they're too warm. And I have got, say, a few more sets coming in. So that's enough waffling about the first shelf. So what I will do next is I'm going to take all this out. Then, um, once it's all out, <clears throat> I'll show you the bottom. And then I'll clean the bottom sort the bottom up and then I'll go back to this it's just so it's easier to see what you got um because of the bottom of the wardrobe right so let's get on <laughs> So that's the wardrobe completely empty of the rail. Let's say it goes back there. And this is how it looks down the bottom here. Now, admittedly, I have got two containers under our bed of cuddly toys. Some of them are sentimental. These have sort of come out like Christmas. That one was like autumn. That actually came from America. And then I've got the rabbit Easter and some more slippers so i'm going to see what i can do 
whether I uh, say that will come under when I do under the bed but I have got quite a few still cuddly toys we've got rid of a lot but now we've got a granddaughter they come out so they are sentimental but they are still played with so I'm not sure and that's the tub of bags that I'll do in a moment and what I've done is say so that's all the smaller bags that is the basket of stuff I'm getting rid of and look I know I've got a hell of a lot of clothes and stuff so there we are so I'm sure there's quite a few that I can get through or get rid of so um, I'm going to do the bottom first then I'm going to go back to this there is a system how I work it what works for me with all that lot out it's easier to work on this space without having to you know push clothes away and it gives me a chance to clean so I'm going to get my big um my fairly big scatter cushion so I can sit because we do have laminated flooring in our bedroom just to make it a little bit softer so I'll be back in a mile right no point in being uncomfortable while you're doing these um projects now I will say and I've learned this lesson there's no point in getting stressed out about getting rid of stuff. Now, if it's something that you really cannot abide to get rid of it, but say um, you haven't used it, worn it, whatever. And yeah, sentimental to a certain extent, you have to take that into consideration and memories for that item. You can always have, and a lot of YouTubers have said this, a halfway box or um has i have said about these things here i mean this one is so well you wouldn't think it was old but bless him this scarecrow he is 1992 because he was brought over from america from my aunt and uncle who we saw again at christmas and she had it knitted for the birth of my first son so 1992 so yes and he's in remarkable condition, as I said. He always comes out at um, sort of September, October time. So he's very sentimental. So, yeah, like I said, there's no point getting stressed out. There is certain items I'm adamant I am not going to get rid of. I'm not at that point. Yet, as the years have progressed, there's things that I thought, no, I won't get rid of this. But then I've changed my mind, especially if you've had... Um, I wouldn't say life-threatening, but maybe a wake-up calls and things like that. I've had a couple of scares in the past and um, went through a bad stage where, I know I'm not going too much into it because it's morbid, where we had quite a few um, deaths in the family. And it's sort of wake-up calls, isn't it? And you're thinking, well, are they going to use it or not? You know, you take one day at a time, you live as best as you can. I'm going off topic here, but it may, again, it makes sense to me. But there is certain things I'm not going to get stressed over. I'm not going to get upset because I'm thinking, now, if he happened to go in the bin, I'll be in tears. Literally, I know he's a toy because he's sentimental to me. But other things, you know, I can toss without a second thought so that's what i'm saying sometimes you might say and i have done this before i've got two items not these two because i'm keeping these but two items we've got the rabbit now this one isn't sentimental it's been through the um washing machine it's so soft it's a rabbit and i think i only paid something like 49p from the charity shop but it's an easter toy again i like to sit something like this out um for a granddaughter now, if we hadn't got a granddaughter, yeah, probably we would have got rid of it. But no, but look at his little bunny tail. But yeah, things like this. So yeah, and as I said, I collect beanie babies, especially the bears. And also, I have got two of these. One must be in my box under the bed. The, these I've had for years. Microwavable um, beddy bear. And it's got the beads in. And they used to mimic because especially when I had a bad shoulder, on the shoulder, you know, heat. But it's really funny having him sit in the microwave. Don't this sound awful? And they get and the especially my son used to say, ring, 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 ring. and there's there's your beanie bear. Well, 
yeah, but I call him Beanie Bear, going round and round in the microwave, poor thing, because of the heat, you know, and, you know, not so much now, but he did smell of lavender. So, yeah, that's something, that is a must, and I say I've got two of those, so I won't get rid of those. These few items I want, but as I said, I need to um, see about other things. This one, um, possibly on the fence. This was Avon. I'm sure it's when I did Avon, so it's a, f a hell of a long time. We got chocolate and we got cookie, and it's like I would say like um, daddy and baby or something. But they're so sweet. Um, again, if I had to get rid of any toys in this little group, it would be these two. Um, but then again, I, so I'm going to see under my bed and see if there's anything I can get rid of. So that that may actually um, carry on from this bit. But as I said, these normally, these few, normally just stay at the bottom. I think that's enough um, sort of going on about the toys. But... You can see what I mean. Sometimes it is really hard. And the last thing I'm going to do is um, get stressed out about something. That's not what it's all about. It's supposed to be a stress reliever to get rid of the stuff, not to make such difficult decisions. So I do have a basket at the back there that was mentioned, I think, earlier on. And that has things that um, were either too tight and I sort of kept hold of them. So really, truly, that should be emptied. I said I'm wondering if my velvet dress is in there I can't honestly remember actually getting rid of it but we shall see this little basket has got purses in and I I might actually change my purse out I have got two of these a, fr a good friend of mine gave me a few of these actually it's by Nikki James and I've got this one at the moment um, but what I might do is change it out for this new one um, these this one I used to have the bag to match oh, actually and this one so I may see about I know it's got owls on how dare I get rid of anything that's got owls on <sighs> but yeah may replace the one in my bag I'm not going to get sidetracked now that's another job have this one because it's newer and it's exactly the same and get rid of the old one and then this one which has got little compartments I don't get rid of this one because some of the little bags that I have across my um, body is when we do an, especially a lot of walking sorry I think I've got another hair. I'm molting. I have a small bag. And this sort of size wallet will not go in. I'll show you it when I get to the bag section on, say, that hanger that goes there. So I have that. And I, what I would do is one compartment I would put, um, say, um, my switch card. And then I would have some change. because, And then it will hold my phone. And a little, you know, a little content has my meds for the day. Because if we're doing a lot of walking, I don't want necessarily a big bag. But on the other hand, um, again, depending on where the vehicle is, like St Ives. If anybody's been to St Ives um, in Cornwall, you know, you park at the top at the leisure centre most of the time. But then it is so steep going down. And I don't know if we've covered this in my Cornwall holiday um, vlog. Um... It's not just a matter of two, five minutes to the car. No. You you either got to walk up the steep hill, which is a killer, or you catch the bus, which is what we normally do. We walk down and catch the bus back, which runs every about 10, 15 minutes, I think. So, yeah, and then the guys will wear, um, probably um, take a rucksack, you know. And the other one I've got, which is so gorgeous, is this one. I had this dare I say, about two years ago now for a birthday. So weather, I quite like that one actually. As long as it's got the zipper compartment, um, I do like that one. And it's got place for the cards. There's certain things that I have tick lists that I like. So I am not sure now whether I'm going to go for that one or the owl one. But 
couple of them I think I'm going to have to see if I can get rid of. Then the other one, again, I've had this a bit of the time as well. It's one of those occasions where I probably, or have said to somebody on a particular birthday, oh, yeah, Denise could deal with a new purse. And then he's probably said it to about two or three different people, not, not blaming him or something. So for the wrestle, and then find out you get two or three different purses. Look at this one. Again, a new one. That's a nice one with all the owls. Um, got places for the cards and notes and then I like a bit of zipper for the change so that's a nice new one I used to always go for the more square purse but recently well the last couple of years I've used what I call wallets like these so yeah so that particular year if I remember rightly I had that one that one and that one <laughs> yeah people know me very well with owls so yes Sorry for the rustle, I'm just going to wrap this all back up. So, anybody who's watching this at the moment, I don't need a purse. Not that I would refuse it, but I've got a few purses to last me, I don't know, well into retirement. Although, dare I say I'm not working, so how can I say that? But yeah. But these are owls. No, I won't get rid of them. But, yeah. I'm going to put that to one side because that's one job because I want to get to the back first. Now, I say that's my canvas bin, and um, that's got all bags in, and I shall go through that. I got rid of one bag last week, the blue one, if you remember. So um, that was pretty much on top, but um, yeah, we'll go through that in a bit. I think it's mostly the basket here of stuff that I wasn't sure about um it's not that big actually um wasn't sure about so some of these items I might just say yeah I'm getting rid of it other items I might say no I need to try them on because I bought these from the charity shop if I remember rightly um and I like these they're jeans and they're this cream with pink spots so I think I am going to try those on, I think. They still might be a bit tight. What I say is clothes-wise, um, I try and keep it no more than this. So, I think I'm going to have to try those on. Here is the dress that I was on about. And it is way too small. I never get into that. Actually, it's got a couple of marks on. Yeah, it's got a couple of marks on. Um, I say, I'm nowhere near there. Oh, that's a size 14. Yeah. But it's one of those that's clingy. I just love it. Do I dare try it on? I think what I'm going to do, I don't think I'll get rid of it. Actually, it's got a couple of marks on. I don't know if they will come out. I'm going to put that in that pile there. And I think... I'm, I don't think I'll get into it, not yet, because I, I must admit, I got more weight on me than when I bought that, when I had that. Right, let's have a look. Right. Shorts. I can go. See what I mean? No. Didn't happen last summer. And what's this one? Oh, this is a dress. This was, I think, a bit of an impulse buy, actually. Um, it's like a woolly dress. Um, again, it was when I'd lost some weight. So it is actually my size, but I think it's going to show my, my belly up too much. But you know what? I'm going to try that on. It's not as though I haven't actually tried anything different on um, to check that they fit. So I'm going to put that up there. I say some of these items might go up there. Um, but what I might have to consider is some of these items, if like the jeans, if they fit, I've got to make sure that I do, if I'm going to put them on, on a rail, you know, on a coat hanger, I'll make sure I get rid of something. Right, let's have a look. So we've got this top. I guess this was a question mark. You know what? Let's let it go. 
this one I've had for years and it was an expensive um, top. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in this pile. It's quite actually dressy. You see, when I was working, um, I used to go to a lot of do's. So I used to um, dress up more, if that makes sense. I'm going to put that in the try on pile. Right. Oh, another top. I think of some of these I'm actually going to actually try on. Yep, it's going to be a try on pile. I, quite, I do like the um, print on that. These are some of the ones that I got from the charity shop thinking about it. And then I thought, well, I do like them, but um, I want to obviously see if I could lose the weight. But it's been 12 months. If I haven't lost enough weight now, do I keep hold of them? And then there's this one. So you might recognise some of these. Not sure. That's a not sure. Um, this one. Yep, this was a charity shop one. And I, I think the reason I like, I did like it, but I would have to wear a black vest thing underneath because it's so see-through. And admittedly, and I think that white went in because I haven't got um, to my knowledge the black um like vest top thing to go underneath it so do i just get rid of it i'm not sure maybe i'll try it on but i said i haven't got i would have if i wanted to wear this i'd have to have another top to go with it so it might be a bit pointless and this one i think i bought this yeah it's still got the tags on actually and it was a pound and it is still got the tags on, but I, it was too tight. It probably still is now. But look, and I kept it because it's the sort of thing for a pound. I thought, well, um, Christmas time with a jacket, or um, say a special occasion in the winter because it's that like mulberry colour, that would look really nice. So I'm going to try that on. So before I actually do that bit, I'll have to try these on um, before the basket comes back. So did I get rid of anything? Yeah, I got rid of, what, about, I think it was about four items out of my basket. But there's still, a, say, um, that pile that I am going to actually try on. As I haven't really tried them on. I did put this top on, which actually is quite comfortable. Because upstairs, it gets really warm, even with no heating on. As you go down, it's cooler. So, but it's got like a three-quarter sleeve in. And very often, I don't know about anybody else, I'm like this all the time when I've got long sleeve top on. So there you are. Right, let's see what else we've got. Ah. Brand new flip-flops. And we went for a stage that I got a lot of these, I think for about 50 pence. So, yes, question mark. But they're brand new because I do wear a lot of flip-flops in summer. And I do, because they don't take a lot of room, I normally have a couple of pairs in the caravan as well. Then I have got my Christmas slippers. I've actually got two pairs of Christmas slippers. So what I might do is put them, you know, sort of side by side and make a decision. Do I keep both pairs? Tell you the truth, they were buried. I forgot all about them. <laughs> I don't normally forget about things, but I use the other ones. So, yeah. See how comfortable they are and put them against the other pair and I'll show you if I remember and see how I feel about that one. And, yeah, I've got slippers, new slippers. As I said, I get through slippers like anything, and I do tend to wear them. But these sort of things, I like to take. I keep mentioning the caravan. To the caravan, yes. I have near enough um, half. Yeah, I would have another half wardrobe in there. Not to this extent, because you've only got a small space. And that wardrobe has to um, accommodate three people's um, clothes. But, like, I have an, um, a couple of spare sets of clothes in there, a couple of pairs of pyjamas, um, flip-flops, and slippers, slipper socks, that all that. 
it usually is to cover all types of weather because you never know when you go away what the weather's going to be like that's beside having as hubby says an overflow of the um wardrobe in the car because the boot tidier has three lots of hiking boots in normally three jackets you know what I mean to compensate and sometimes I even roll up um, extra socks in there because if we're hiking or anything or we're out all day then you know we've got in feet get feet get wet you've got extra socks besides from trainers to hiking boots and back again so yeah I've got these and I've got these say so these like the um, other ones you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put these just so I make sure that I use them I'm going to put these in the basket with my thick socks because these are the sort of things I was saying. I like to slip in um, sort of um, an overnight bag or something um, if you're um, staying anywhere. Even I've put them in a bag um, if you're visiting. If I'm going to be anywhere any length of time, um, these are handy to have. So they are going to go in the basket with my thick socks. Then I have got Eeyore slippers, Hello Kitty slippers, and these. So there's, I'm going to see what room I've got in that wardrobe um, so I can see them. And I did get rid of one lot of flip flops, so now I've got these. Um, see whether I can consider possibly getting rid of another old pair and transferring from one of the new pairs in there say so sometimes I have a couple of pairs in the caravan so then it's just the bags as I say oh, at this point I've got rid of a few items from the bottom here I'm reviewing and while I'm reviewing this is why I have to do it in small stages it might take me an hour it took me couple of hours to do this wardrobe although I fast forwarded it you don't know you know the decisions and putting everything back um, how long it does take um, reviewing stage um, because um, your mind's going and if it's something you're not 100% sure of you either have a basket to put it in or it goes back do you know what I mean but sometimes I put a time limit on it and make sure I'm going to use it where whatever but I so I have got slippers. Um, I've got my Minnie Mouse ones at the moment. So yeah, might might alter that and um, put these out. And then I've got my bags. Now I think while we're on the reviewing stage, um, before I start fast forwarding this to put it, clean it, and put it all back, uh, make the decisions. I will just um, go through my bag basket. As I said I do have the hanging one, but this is the large one. Now. I know what I've used. This is my laptop um, bag. This is actually Paper Chase. And I, got, I got this, I think, from a car boot. Paper Chase. So you know they, they, that's a good make and it's expensive. And I use that all the time. So that's a must. You'll recognise my carpet bag, as I call it. Um, it's like an overnight sort of bag but this is also what we call a tech bag this is when I used to do a lot of um, heat fit Pilates yoga at the community centre which they're stopped now um, this used to be my um, heat fit bag and I used to have it um, ready you know water bottle although the water bottle used to be empty to start with I used to keep it with a clean towel you know um, another like thin jumper um, gripper socks and everything like that so that used to be packed ready admittedly I haven't used that in months this one oh I love this one this one I got reasonable from Amazon it is actually gone um, it's, it's quite mucky actually but it's gone not an off it's sort of an off-white now my Hello Kitty bag, but this was quite expensive, and I love this one. So um, yeah, I'll have to look up to see because it's like a rubbery thing. I mean, 
there's strange things, isn't there, to clean these sort of things. I don't know whether um, white and toothpaste will do it. If you can comment below, please do. It's like a rubbery, plasticky, plastic at the bottom, like a rubbery sort of look. Now, I've got a question mark, and I question mark because I didn't use it this summer because I went from either a rucksack to a small um, over the shoulder bag. This sort of thing, especially when I went to go to Cornwall and everything, this is the sort of bag I have in the, in with me in the car because I have to have like the day's medication with me, tissues, um, makeup bag, you know. Sometimes I've even put the mini um, toothpaste and toothbrush in because if we're on the road a number of hours, you know, especially before we used to um, travel with the caravan, it was amazing what I used to um, put in this bag. So I am wondering now, do I dare get rid of it? It's one of those, <laughs> I'm not sure about that one. I say different size bags, you can't help it. So yeah, I've got this big brown bag. Don't know whether I've actually ever used that one. And this one, which is um, a special K one. This is when... Um, one of those yes i don't know if they do it now where you used to um do the special k follow them the exercise and obviously their breakfast but then used to collect the um vouchers that you get on the box and send it off and used to get a free bag but i use this one because it's the polythene one i use that when i go swimming i use that as a swimming bag right then oh yeah Owls. That one I've used. That one I haven't because it's still got the tag on. These were from Amazon, so that one. And the best thing about these, they can go through the washing machine, which I've done in the past. The only disadvantage about these is they've not got the um, waterproof lining. So I tend to use these more in the summer. Um, again, I haven't used these last summer. No, I didn't. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Not sure about those. And then I've got this bag. This has actually got the tag on. I um, don't think I'd pay twelve ninety nine for it. Um, it's got the zips. Yes. But this, this is not so bad because obviously it's a bit more waterproof, if that makes sense. I have actually had used this bag before and uh, had a sudden downpour, remember it, and that's why I stopped wear, um, using them. Well, I was going to say wear it, but use it, and everything got soaked. So, yeah. Is that it? Oh, no. This was a gift from my friend. This is the sort of thing I use and this is the sort of thing I use in the caravan. So I'm going to put that out because that ought to go with my small bag. So that would be another section. I'm going to count in a minute, one to three or one to ten in a minute. And I'm just going to have to make the decision because I'm going to be this on this long and laugh. And I think I've been talking and rattling on for about half an hour now. So I've got to make a decision. So um, what I'm going to say is my laptop case is a must. That's a must. As the case went up in the loft, but we keep that just in case. Um, you never know if someone goes in a hospital or needs an overnight bag. That is a must. Um, plus, the guys don't particularly mind carrying that one. That's what I was going to say. They don't mind carrying that. <laughs> I don't know about any gents out there. Um, hello, Kitty. No, no. Yes, if I'm... Because I didn't like to put it down on the floor. That was the only thing about it being white, you know. And, you know... Oh, I'm going off topic of Cornwall again. And we... we 
you know, when you've got the ladies um, queuing up for the toilets, because obviously you only have two or three stalls, don't you, in these small um, places that you visit. And uh, Port Isaac, it must have been Port Isaac, yeah, because it's where um, Doc Martin's filmed. And there's all the gents and the women who come along, isn't it? Hold me bag, hold the umbrella, hold me jacket. There's there's me with me, me bag like this, me Hello Kitty bag. You know, this is going back a couple of years now. And Herbie looks at me, I says, don't worry, you're not having my bag, I'll take it with me. And all the gents were laughing because they've all got bags and jackets and everything, do you know what I mean? Um, but no, it's one bag I wouldn't allow. The, my black rucksack that I'm always wearing at the moment, yes, Hubby often holds that for me. Um, rucksacks, I say when we're out any length of time, the guys with me, we do have a rucksack. I'm still waffling on, aren't I? Come on, Den Den. Make decisions. You know what? It's going. Don't don't bother <laughs> asking me about cleaning it because I'll feel off now. And you know what? What else? Yeah. Go in. Ours is always a problem. This one is a question mark. That's, I'm going to keep that one because swim in. I've got my, yeah, I'm going to keep that one. Now, question mark. Because I've got two and I don't really use them, do I get rid of the older one and keep the new one? Old, new, old. Sorry, go in, keep in question mark if this is not used in the next six months it's going I, i'm sure i didn't pay 12.99 for it no i'm sure it was five pounds i'm sure it was yeah i wouldn't pay that for it i didn't pay that for the bag for my wedding not my wedding my son's wedding <sighs> yes tick so yep there's a couple of say things that are going to shift around so that is good because i've got rid of a few bags there and um like i said um i do if the outside of a bag is like that waterproof it doesn't matter about the inside or vice versa so i'm gonna put these back This is why they laugh at me, because when we go in the caravan to Cornwall, which we're hoping to do this year, we're going for two weeks, all being well, I will take three or four different bags. I will have a rucksack, a bigger rucksack, not my normal one, a bigger rucksack, so I don't have to carry it all the time, a swimming bag, and probably um, over the body bag like that. So, yeah, for different things. I don't know if anybody else is the same. It depends what we're doing. So we do a lot of walking. Now I said I've got six months on that bag and then that will be going. And if you're saying, how's she going to remember in six months time? Believe it or not, it will go on the calendar and it will go in my planner eventually. as I said so it's set for two bags which are new ones they're all used and that that is one of the main things about doing your sorting isn't it the only reason I'm probably natting away with you and spending ages talking is because I'm in today um so for the rest of the day anyway um if i haven't got a lot of time then no as i said i did go to um my um craft group but sitting on the floor here doing this it's not t too hard is it so but sometimes you know when i've got a whole 
cold day and not brushing or anything, you know. Admittedly, I lost half a day with my craft group, but there we are. So that goes there. But I do have it a little way away because really into my my um my bag one goes down the side there. So that goes there. And before I do anything else, I think I ought to try those clothes on. I probably will actually nip into my son's room, Beans is at work, because he's got a full length mirror as well. But I've got so much stuff on the floor that I think it'd be more room um, and I can step back further. So, yeah, I'm going to pause it here and try those clothes on. Right, I've surprised myself actually. Um... Because I didn't think I'd get in there, and it's not too bad. I mean, yeah, I I could lose some off the weight on my belly. Um, I was actually surprised myself actually because I felt it was so tight everywhere before. I mean, I am not down nowhere near to what I was when I first bought it, so it makes my hips look a bit quite big just here. Not sort of here, but I must admit it feels gorgeous. I think this is actually going to actually hang up in my wardrobe now as a reminder and to lose some more weight. But I'm happy with this. I think, yeah, I am actually going to um, keep this and hang just hang it back up. Say so it does feel a bit weird because I've got no. I've just got no footwear on because I've just taken my um, slipper socks off <laughs> while I was trying this on. But yeah, I'm quite happy with that. And chucked, as I said, this was, except for my wedding dress, I should have said, this is the most expensive item I've actually purchased on one item. So yeah. <laughs> 